Hello, hello, D-Rock from You First Outdoors here. Uh, today I'm going to make a short video about um, what I generally pack when I do a long day hike or a canyon. I had a viewer that recently was curious as to what all I packed when I do these canyons and hikes, so I thought I would uh, make a video just to show what all I do pack. So hopefully, Natalie, this helps you out. So let's get started. First off, I need to say that I tend, I tend to pack on the heavier side. Um, everybody has their own method. I generally pack for the possibility that I might have to stay the night. So that being said, I throw in a few more items, a little extra food, a little extra water, anything that might help me if I'm in a situation where I'm injured or forced bivy anything like that I, i've been in these situations I've, I've i've had forced bivvies i've been in inclement weather without the proper gear and it just it just sucks so i tend to carry after experiencing these things uh all the necessary items i want so that i could get through uh, the night somewhat comfortable um, so this is not for everyone because some people prefer lighter packs some people prefer heavier packs maybe i'm somewhere in the middle so but this is what i'm showing is just what i do and it may not be for everyone so first off uh let's talk about water i'm in the the desert southwest so um for instance if i go down to the grand canyon uh, or other areas there may not be available water so i bring at a minimum uh, a gallon of water at a minimum and uh, if I know there's going to be water, or I think there may be water, I'll also bring a water filter. Uh, sometimes, depending on time of year, uh, spring, fall, winter, I don't need to carry all this water. Summer, I may carry a gallon and a half of water and other, th other things as well. So that, that's something to definitely consider. And water's heavy. If I were in the mountains, it's not that big of a problem because usually you can find a stream, a creek, anything. There's generally water that you can filter so you don't have to pack as much. Down in the desert, it's a whole other ball game. So you gotta, you got to consider that a gallon of water is eight pounds. Uh, for example, when I hiked Nankaweep down to the Grand Canyon a few months ago, going in, I had 20 pounds of water weight. 20 pounds of water weight. To start out with because I was stashing water as I went in because it was 11 miles with no water that's not always the case that's just a, a, a larger example of what you may run into so next I also uh, a little trick um, I'll take like a Gatorade and the night before the hike I'll freeze it and in the morning I'll toss the frozen bottle of Gatorade in my pack so you know six seven hours into the hot day or whatnot got an ice cold Gatorade it's awesome and I'll also throw a couple of the little like Capri Sun packs in there um, it's to me it's worth the extra weight because it's so refreshing after hours and hours of possible strenuous activity to not ha to have something other than water to drink so that's what I like and it makes some people jealous when I pull out like a soda or a Capri Sun or something like that and they're like, whoa, man, why didn't I think of that? So, there you have it. Next, topographic map. Have a map and a compass. Also, uh, if you're going into more remote areas or you're not sure of the beta or whatnot, uh, it's a good idea to carry a GPS. So, carry a GPS as well. So, a map, compass for sure, always. And then... If you know how to use one, you have one, uh, GPS is also another great item. Moving on from there, I've got uh, like a small, lightweight down jacket that you can stuff. Now, what I've got in the pockets is, I've got a beanie, one pocket, and then the other pocket, I've got some gloves, some like liner gloves that work really well, and also uh, this buff uh, neck head stretchy thing that you can just stretch over your head and neck if it gets cold. Uh, you'd be surprised how quick you can get cold. 
So it's good to have this around and it's all packs down. It's really light. Let's look in the top. I always like to bring a sunglass case. When I get into the canyons and whatnot, I take the sunglasses off, put them in the case, they're protected. Gloves, of course. Uh, for me, I always bring a knee brace. I'm no spring chicken anymore, so uh, it's really easy to get a knee injury, and I've had to use these multiple times. On the top of the pack, I keep some granola bars, some candy, some dried fruit, easily available to keep the energy going. And I've also got uh, ibuprofen, um, Excedrin, whatnot, in Ziploc bags in case I hit water. I usually got some webbing at the top too for easy access. And another dry bag. I've got some extra clothing and I've got uh, some compact rain gear, just tops. So I can pull this out, rain gear windbreaker. I've got some long underwear. Uh, extra pair of socks. And some Neo gloves, some old Neo gloves I've got stashed in there. And that's pretty it for uh, clothing. It depends, sometimes I'll throw an extra shirt in extra pair of pants depends on where I'm going and what I'm doing so I keep that in a separate dry bag and I've got the food bag and I like to carry quite a bit of food so I've got extra candy like chocolate covered Peanut covered, chocolate covered peanuts, good lord. Uh, granola bars, beef jerky, dried fruit. I like these Gatorade powder packets. They're good for, you know, a Nalgene bottle. Uh, extra tuna, more granola bars. And also I'll make a couple sandwiches or something. I'm all about having lots of food. I've been stuck out there with little to no food before and it is not fun. So it's good to have plenty of stuff to eat. Like I said, I pack a little on the, on the heavy side. Some people don't like carrying the extra weight. I, I honestly don't mind it. I also got this dry bag here. Now this is a 20 liter dry bag. So I can get all my things that I want to stay dry in here this will go in my pack. I can write that up. Everything stays dry in water. So what do I carry in this dry bag? I uh, will show you. That really doesn't need to be in a dry bag. It's just a rope protector. Extra gloves. I carry uh, insect repellent. Oh yeah, don't forget this stuff. Toilet paper and wet wipes. Don't forget that. Sunscreen. I've got a headlamp and a backup light, spare batteries, and a Bic lighter. Very important. Just always carry a headlamp, spare batteries. I've also got, um, this is some, I think it's two millimeter uh, paracord. Now, this is great. Eventually you're gonna pop laces on your boots, your shoes, whatever. This right here is not gonna break. You can replace your laces. Now I've got uh, moleskin. Got some more ibuprofen, some Kleenex. Got uh, emergency blanket. I've also got another lighter, Tums, and some Blistex for my lips. And I've got some Gold Bond powder. This stuff is great, trust me. Have you ever been chafed? It sucks. 
put some powder on you you're good to go and i've got first aid kit in its own dry bag inside that first aid kit i've kind of built it myself so let me show you here i've got a couple packets of uh quick clot in case i get uh, a decent sized cut I'll just open that up, put it on there, and it'll stop the bleeding. Got some finger finger condoms. If you get cut up, put some Band-Aid on it, then put the finger condoms over it. Really great. More ibuprofen. Lots of ibuprofen. Like I said, I'm no spring chicken. And Ace Bandage. Got Sports Wrap. Uh, sterile Bandage Roll. band-aids and sterile uh, pads compress waterproof tape I've got Benadryl in case I have an allergic reaction insect stings whatnot a whole bunch of band-aids uh, more quick clot there and more band-aids one of these tweezers yeah in the desert eventually you're gonna run into prickly pear or some other cactus, or my friend, the desert sting bush, and you will want tweezers to get those tiny little spines out. Awesome. Oh, and a hat. Always good to have a hat. As far as this dry bag go, the big 20 liter here, um, I like the Black Canyon dry bags. They're really durable, really thick made from good material and I don't really worry about it getting punctured like these cloth ones uh, what can I say about them they're gonna they're gonna leak it's just gonna happen so the clothing's kind of optional it depends on how I feel um, where I'll be uh, sometimes I don't bring the extra clothing but I will bring the the rain gear and this so you can you know add things take things out it's just kind of up to you how you want to pack press these dry bags will everything fit in there yeah it will then on top of all that other stuff Put my canyoneering gear yeah so the pack does get heavy got lots of webbing ascending prusik knots my ascending gear harness rig rope it can get a little weighty i should also say that i i also bring a uh, easy little flip knife i keep it nice and sharp um, I'll take this off once I get my canyoneering gear on, put it in the pack, because I've also got a knife that's attached to my harness. So I've always got a knife with me as well. So that's generally what I pack when I do long day hikes or canyons. Um, I can't really think of anything I would take out of that. Uh, so it varies. <clears throat> now what I've shown may not be suitable for uh, you but for me, it works just fine. Uh, like I said, everybody differs from what they like to pack. I tend to pack a little more just because it makes me feel uh, safer in case I do run into a situation where I have to do like a forced bivy or I'm injured and I have to stay the night. So it's always up for interpretation. Um, you got some people that like to go ultra light, some people that like to go ultra heavy. It's just, I mean, you just gotta find what works best for you. And that general amount of things there make me feel comfortable when I'm going out and being in more remote areas. So hopefully uh, this has helped and stay safe out there. Appreciate you watching. D-Rock out.